Okay, so you start playing Dark and Light or you come back to Dark and Light to check out the new map and DLC, whatever you want to call it. And you decide, you know, this will be a lot more fun with mods. So you make it a single player game, right? With some mods. And then you you decide, you know, this would be a lot more fun with my friends and mods. So you go get a, port, a G Portal server because G Portal is the best service. That's who I recommend. That's who I'm using. And that's who this tutorial is going to be, be based off of. But you quickly learn that it's a little bit more complicated to add uh, add mods, add odds. Let's add odds. Let's add mods. <laughs> to add mods to a G Portal server for Dark and Light than it is for, say, Ark or Conan or whatever. Okay, well, I'm going to help you figure out how to do that today. So stay tuned. We'll be right back after I roll this quick intro clip, and I'll, we're going to jump right in. All right, so the easiest and most direct way to do this is set up a single player game. Let's you know, go by host local, go down to your mods, set up whatever mods that you want to use on your server because it's very important. You are going to have to have these installed on the client as well. So you're going to need this anyway. Uh, so get it set up and then just click play single player. It's going to move the mods to the proper folder on your local machine. It's going to add a line to your INI files, which we're going to need as well. And then after you're loaded in, you can safely just close the game because we don't need it any longer. All right, so you've got your game closed and you're ready to proceed. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, let's get to it. What you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to open up your lovely backend for G Portal because there is some information here we're gonna need. You're gonna need an FTP client. If you do not have an FTP client, um, there's several free options. The one I prefer using is FileZilla. Um, I've used it for probably the past 10, 20, well, 10 or 15 years at least. Uh, it's my preferred one. You will use the connection information that is down here. You'll just plug it in you have, uh, to the appropriate fields, host, username, password, port, etc. And then you can click Quick Connect. I've already been connected to the server. By the way, uh, that information will not be valid after this video because the server will not be there after this video. I set this up specifically just to show you guys how to get mods up, up and running since it's a little bit more complicated than it is for other, uh, other game servers that they provide. So, but I've already connected to it. So we're gonna connect right here. Uh, what you're going to want to do next is you're go on this, you know, you're going to want to navigate local to your local files to where you have dark and light installed, uh, which is usually, you know, wherever you have steam and then steam apps, common dark and light. Then we're going to go look for the DNL folder and then we're going to go into the content folder and mods. Um, as you can see, I have it selected here over on the server side you're going to navigate the same way you're going to want to go into your dnl folder you're going to want to go into content you're going to want to go into mods and all you should see in here is dark and light and then this t tiled rock bar layers dot your asset weird and wild but it's there so yeah who might argue all right uh <laughs> next thing you do is really easy uh you select all of these folders, these numbered folders, because these are the folders that contain your mods and you know files. And then you're going to select these dot mod files. And you're going to transfer them over into the mods folder on the server side of things. Now, this can take a minute depending on your internet connection and, uh, well, your machine specs, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So once we, once this gets done, we'll be back. There's only a couple of little tweaks that we need to do to get it all set up and working. And uh, yeah, we'll, then we'll be done. Man, this is gonna be a very short video. Anyway, I hope you guys will find this video useful. If you do find it useful, yeah, hit that thumbs up button. Let me know. And uh, yeah, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe, turn on that little bell icon widget thing. I'm a jigger my bomb with widget. That way you know when I release new awesome gaming videos or tutorials or vlogs, vlogs, whatever you want to call those things, because I it's still new. Is it vlog or is it vlog? I just don't know. I'm old. Yeah, as you can tell by the gray in my beard. Man, eh, what's that, Sonny? Back in my day, what we considered a vlog was I don't even know where I'm going with this. Anyway, uh, I'll be back after this file transfer is done, guys. Hey, awesome. So all of our files are now transferred over, as you can see here, and we are done with the FTP client. Okay, next, what we need to do is we need to navigate with a folder uh, to where you have 
uh, dark and light installed. So for me, it's D programs, um, program files, steam, and then same path as for you. Whoops, not bad. My bad, my bad. Let's see, I'm jumping ahead of myself. There we go, steam apps, common, dark and light. There it is. We're gonna go into DNL. Then we are going to go into saved. And then we're going to go into config, Windows no editor. And you're going to find your game user settings.ini. You're gonna open that. And you, it should automatically open with notepad. Now you're gonna to want to hit control F. This makes it easy, the easiest way to find what we're looking for. Hit control F and you're gonna type in active mods and click find next. And it's gonna to pop to that line. What you're gonna to wanna to do is you're, to, you're going to want to select that entire line and all those numbers right there. Uh, th the amount of numbers and how far long this line is will be dependent with, of how many mods that you have installed. Uh, so make sure you get all of it. You're going to copy it either by hitting Control C or right clicking and choosing copy. And then you can close this because we no longer need it. All right, back on the website. What we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna go up here to configuration files. We are going to go over to, or go down to select, where it says select a file. We're gonna change, we're gonna select game user settings.ini. We're going to click load. And then somewhere in here under the server settings brackets here, you're just going to wanna to paste in that line either by hitting control V or right clicking and choosing paste. And then we're gonna click save and boom, it's saved. Now, all you have to do is start your server, load in and enjoy your mods. And just to show you that it is working, uh, I will go ahead and let my server load, we'll load dark and light back up and we'll hop in and I'll show you the mods are working. All right guys, so here we are in dark and light. Now we installed the stack mod, so we wanna make sure that stack mod is working. So we're just going, and I increased the rates to extremely stupid amounts as you can see what I, how much I'm gathering how quickly. But if you look at the bottom right of the screen, you will notice that we're not, our weight's not going up, or at least not very quickly in comparison. And we've already picked up, you know, a thousand some odd stones. So let's go ahead and take a look at our stacks, make sure the stack mod is working as uh, intended. Bam. As you can see, we're holding 1600 stone and if you know vanilla dark and light, it does not stack that high. So mods like stacks and uh, dinosaur mods, they work without having to do anything special. Now, if you have installed any building mods, ooh, what can I do for you? You can hush, I'm recording a video. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to work here. Would, would you like in on the video? Frederick, Frederick, everybody say hi to Frederick. He, he, he obviously wants to be on a YouTube video, right Frederick? <laughs> All right, so if you've installed any building mods, ooh, we need water, mm, water, water. There we go. Hi. Um, the devs for Dark and Light have not incorporated in a way uh, as of yet to actually get learn the building mod parts um, while playing the game. So you're going to have to spawn things in. For that, you will need to be logged in as admin. Um, but all you have to do is bring up your console. By default, I think it's the all number right. uh, number pad plus. I changed that. I, I It's a weird button for, to bring up your console. Uh, I, I change it to the tilde button, uh, which is what I'm used to for consoles. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Uh, most of the mods on Steam will have uh, their spawn codes listed for things. All you gotta do is, you know, select it, copy it, paste it into your your uh, terminal like so, hit enter, and as you can see, we got that random item, whatever it's supposed to be, enchanted B. So we can use, we can grab that, and we can click use item. And now you can see it says building buff enabled. Now, let's see, what else can we do here? Let me just look over here, builder spell, builder spell common. Let's take a look and see if we can spawn in the augmented telescope and more. Now, it on this mod page, it does say that the DLC broke it. Um, we'll see how bad it broke it. I mean, I mean, is it going to totally break it or are we going to t get the item? I don't know, let's find out. So. All right, I got the new spawn code for the spyglass. Let me go ahead and click that in there. Okay, it gave us an augmented spyglass. Let's go ahead and take a quick peek and see if this thing works. Oh, 
it looks like it's working but right. yeah that's what you're gonna have to do for any item or building part that is part of a mod you will have to spawn it in using console commands um, oh, it's got a zoom cool we can zoom in we can zoom out pretty neat hi expedition force how you doing anyway oh oh and it crashed okay so that mod is broken by the way if you use that mod it is the augmented telescope and more mod uh, expect a crash just saying uh, you definitely read up on your mods that you're using because some of them are out of date especially since they released this new DLC and it takes a while for modders to get around to fixing mods for dark and light since it's honestly not as popular as say Ark or Conan is anyway guys that is all you have to do to get mods working on your G portal server I hope you found this useful um, as I said earlier if you did you know what to do um, like I said, make sure make sure you read up on your mod. That is a very, very, very important step to find out if it's going to work with the new DLC, which we were on the DLC map when that crash occurred. And yeah, if you have any problems or have any questions, guys, feel free to ask them down below. Also, if you're looking to get a G Portal server for Dark and Light or Ark or Conan or Minecraft or Farming Simulator or any of the other games that they offer, there is a coupon code down below in the uh, description that will save you 5% on your server. That's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Until next time, this is Neo, and I'll see you in game. Bye.